A Muslim ch student's challenge at the High Court against a London school's ban on prayer rituals has been rejected. The student argued that the ban at Michaela Community School in London was discriminatory and unlawfully breached her right to religious freedom. However, the school said allowing prayers risks security threats and could undermine social cohesion among pupils. Well, joining me now in the studio is Abdullah Al Andalusi, co-founder of the Muslim Debate Initiative. Thank you for joining us in the studio. Um, so Catherine Burbelson called this a victory for all schools. Presumably you disagree. Yes, I think it's uh, uh, unfortunate. I mean, why, why is prayer deemed to be a threat in society today? Uh, we, there's always a lot of complaints, especially on GB News, about Christianity and Christian, Christian practices being restricted in secular Britain. And yet, uh, when it comes to other religions, uh, we uh, celebrate, unfortunately, the, the, these bans and, and, and students being prevented from simply praying in their lunch breaks when they would be presumably playing games. They would just want to pray, choose to play, pray instead, and that's going to be banned, unfortunately. Except it wasn't about that. It wasn't about um, a specific religion. It was about it set out in the charter and the rules of the school that no prayer was allowed at all. And that was made clear to all, all parents, all pupils, before they enrolled at this school. In fact, she said in the ruling, you don't have to come to this school, but these are my rules. I'm free to make my own rules. If you don't like them, you can go elsewhere. Well, actually, she actually said she used to allow people to pray in the yard uh, voluntarily. And then there was she complained that it was making other Muslim uh, students more religious or that there was some pressure on Muslims who didn't want to be religious or what have you. And then she just said, you know what, I'm going to just ban Muslim prayer altogether, because apparently um, culture and, and social cohesion is so fragile that prayer, just simply prayer, it's, it's a threat to it. Um, if, if such a culture uh, is so fragile that prayer is a threat, we need to re-examine that culture. Well, maybe we need to re-examine the culture that emerged from this, a backdrop of events including violence, intimidation and appalling racial harassment of our teachers. That's the backdrop, the consequence of this decision. Surely that proves that introducing prayers, special treatment for whatever groups within a school, when it leads to this kind of intimidation, it proves the point. There should be no special dispensation for Muslim prayers in British schools. The High Court agreed. Well, uh, such things are actually deplorable, but they were coming from outside the school, not from inside the school. So it seems like Catherine just buckled to outside pressure and decided just to ban everything. You know, I mean, is this the kind of social cohesion we have? Like, are we going to imitate? Are we going to imitate China, which uh, prevents and bans all kinds of demonstration of religiosity in their schools in the sake of a monoculture? Because anything else than a a government-proved monoculture creates division and d destroys social cohesion. We're not living in China. You know, if she wants to create, uh, I mean, what, what next? Is she going to mandate unisex toilets and calling everybody day and not he or she? Because this creates division too. Are we going to go down the Marxist route? Then it seems. Well, she she wanted actually universality and not preferential treatment. That's what this is about. But thanks for joining us in the studio. You appreciate your time. Abdullah Al-Andalusi, thank you very much for joining us.